So I'm Lily, I'm 10, and I'd like to know how your immune system recognizes if it's if something is good or bad and what happens with the autoimmune diseases. I'm Chris Saruji. I'm an associate professor in the School of Medicine and Public Health at the University of Wisconsin. I'm a pediatrician and I'm an immunologist. Um, immunologists have gained a lot of insights into how our immune system can distinguish between good and bad. And so the immune system is a network of different types of cell types. Um, they represent uh, such cells as T cells and dendritic cells. They make up the white blood cells that are circulating in our bloodstream. They're the cells that make up our bone marrow, our spleen, and our lymph nodes. Um, important cells for distinguishing between good and bad are T cells. And it's estimated that there are approximately a trillion T cells in our body. A T cell becomes a T cell through placing something called the T cell receptor on the surface of a cell that allows it to recognize a unique protein sequence called its antigen. Now a T cell will recognize its antigen uh, using its T cell receptor, but it has to see it presented by a cell called a dendritic cell or an antigen presenting cell. And this interaction is similar to, you can think of a lock and a key mechanism where you have a T cell receptor on the surface of a T cell and an antigen being presented by a dendritic cell and these cells come together and this is part of the initial recognition phase. The education process to become a T cell begins in an organ called the thymus. And the, and the thymus is an organ that sits in our chest right above the heart. And a cell that's in the thymus will become a T cell there and get educated. And it seems somewhat counterintuitive, but the first lesson it learns is what's good. Only cells that have the capacity to recognize something that's potentially bad are able to leave the thymus. So an autoimmune disease um, is a scenario where the immune system is attacking self or auto. And there are many examples of autoimmune diseases. Insulin-dependent diabetes is one that is, is uh, well recognized and that's where our immune system attacks uh, the cells that make insulin. Or obviously what we're shooting for in immunology is to understand how to reverse the course and restore order in, so that individuals don't have to take medications that suppress their immune system.